welcome to my channel it is smart training if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and please mention your valuable comments so today we are going to start the second session of uh, exchange server installation in my previous video i we install uh, the prerequisites of exchange server 2019 so now we install the exchange server 2019 so in my last video i just small recap uh, we download the exchange server 2019 install the dotnet framework install visual c++ install user communication unified communication next prepare an active directory remote install remote server administration tool install prerequisite scripts then prepare active directory now this uh, this is the step to install uh, the exchange server 2019 installation so in my this is the setup I just double click on it I just uh, uncheck the updates right now click next it's uh, copying some file so this is the Microsoft latest till now latest uh, update uh, till now at exchange server 2019 accumulative update 2 so now it's initializing setup click next accept next here is the option use the recommended settings if I select these options action server will automatically check online solution when encountering any errors or provide users to feedback Microsoft if I select this option we have to do this manually I just select I just select the recommend do not use the recommended settings click next if I yeah, here is the three uh, roles are available in Exchange 2019. First is the mailbox role, second is management tools, and third one is H transport role. If I select mailbox role, the management tools will automatically select. If I uncheck it, and if I select H transport role, the management role and the management tools are blur. So at a time we only install either the mailbox role over here or the H transport role over here I just select the mailbox role and select automatically install windows roles and features install in exchange server press next it's install under C program files Microsoft exchange server then v15 this is the directory locations where the exchange server will install the disk specs require 5739.9 MB and the disk space available more than the required space and configuring prerequisites just click on install there are 13 services are over there so already performed 2 of 13 it will take some time to install so when is check prerequisites sometimes you get error from there uh, so if you get any error for prerequisites is missing or something like that 
is something configuration is uh, not found so you just restart the active directory domain controller as well as the experience server this takes some time to install you can see that the 9 of 13 is already running 8 is installed you can see that uh, the exchange installation uh, successfully completed if you open the launch and exchange admin center just select this checkbox and finish this is the URL of exchange admin center ex1 slash ecp or the IP address slash ecp this is the exchange admin center I just logged in over here take some time to log in first time see this is my exchange control panel okay If you want to move to Office 360, select Office 365. But this is my on premises exchange server, so this is the console panel. So, this is how we can install the exchange server 2019. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.